Let's see if I can get this out without spilling. Like that. Oh my god. Alright, this one's full. What? What's going on, Trifaction? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this speed loader that I got. Now, you might be wondering how is this a speed loader because it looks like a freaking shotgun. But this is the Elite Force SL14. Alright. Says it right there on the side. So you can load your mags really fast. Now, I do believe they sell a few different adapters for this. It comes with the M4 adapter. Basic way this thing works is you put your BBs in through this door right here. And then basically pump them into the mag. I'll go a little bit more into depth on that in a minute. Now, it's by Elite Force and it's specifically designed for the Elite Force bottle of BBs that they sell. So, Elite Force, it's got like the neck, just like a regular plastic bottle, which is one of the best designs in my opinion, because when you're trying to pour them, they don't get stuck, right? A lot of different designs with the flat tops before the hole, a lot of the BBs get stuck and it's really annoying. So I do like that design. And it's specifically designed for this door right here. So you put your BBs in here. This is a 2,500 round reservoir, which is a freaking lot. Uh, you can, you know, that'll last you a freaking whole day if you fill this thing up. Uh, if you're just running regular mid caps on your M4 or whatever. And then, uh, so you fill this up, 2,500 rounds. And then this button right here basically allows the BBs into this bottom track. And I believe I have an image of like the uh, back of the box that uh, has like a little diagram on it that shows you what everything does and where everything uh, works at. So basically the BBs fill up in this bottom track right here and then you pump them in. So you gotta basically tip it forward, hold this button and then tip it back to fill up the track. And then you let go and then you pump it. And then you just repeat the process. But before we do that, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like the content and uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified on all our new videos when we upload. And uh, let's go ahead and get to loading this thing. So I actually have had time to mess with this thing. I've actually taken it to an event. Uh, so I found out the easiest way to load this is to tip it upside down like this and hold it with your finger. Let me get, unscrew this real quick. And hold it with your finger like this. And then bring the bottle from this direction. Fill it up like that. And then just let go. That's the easiest way that I've found. And I have a PTS EPM right here. So the uh, the filling part goes in like this. So basically your mag is going to be backwards compared to the uh, speed loader. Make sure it's all the way in there. Then we're going to tip it forward. Hold the button. Tip it back. And release. As you can see, this entire bottom track is filled with BBs, and then we're just going to pump it, just like that. And I think these are 150 round mid caps, so we'll give it about three pumps, because I think it does about 40 BBs per pump if you fill it all the way up. Let's do it again. There you go. Now it's not 100% full, because again, this is a 150 round mid cap. So 40, 80, about 120, I think we put in there. Um, so it works pretty good. Uh, now I will say, when I first got this thing, I tried to, I actually tried to do a video on it uh, before, when I first got it, and it was really stiff. Like it was really hard to load the mags. Um, I think I had to break it in, because it is working way better now than it was when I first got it, I will say that. It's really easy to pump. For some reason, when I first got it, it was hard to pump it. Uh, I guess I just had to break it in. We took this to Iron Fury, the speed loader, and we basically all just used the same weight BBs, and we just filled this thing up, and we were loading our mags so quick, we didn't even have to like take time to load our mags, it was that fast. So overall, it worked really well. Uh, the reason I got this thing is because you know, the smaller speed loaders kind of suck. They take forever to load all your mags. I carry like six mags on the field. But we've tried other speed loaders like the uh, the Odin ones, the ones that you like plug the mag in and then you have like, a little crank wheel on it. We've tried those. We had one of those, I think broke like really fast. 
I know some people like them, but uh, we didn't really have a good experience with those things. But uh, this thing worked really well for us, and I really do like using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this thing like all the way up in the reservoir, and I'm going to get like five of these mags. And I'm basically going to time how fast I can load all five mags. I'm not going to talk or anything because the BB's going to be shaking around everywhere. It's going to be loud. But uh, we'll throw like a timer up, and we'll see how fast we can load all five of these. My first one plugged in. All right, let's do it. We'll start the timer now. I think that one's done. All right, that one's done. All right, that one's done. That's three, two more. All right, that one's done. All right, so you guys can see the timer. I wasn't really counting. I was just loading. Uh, it felt pretty fast for loading five mags. It was, uh... now, I did make a couple mistakes, or really just one mistake, that is kind of easy to do uh, when you first get this thing, which is what I just did. When you're, when you're pulling the pump back, accidentally holding this, this is what, you know, lets it load in the track, and also what, pushes the BBs back. So if you accidentally hold this, it's not gonna push any BBs when you're doing it. And I think I did that a couple times on there. So I accidentally held it, and then bringing it back, I didn't, so I pushed them back into the reservoir. So that's something that uh, you kinda have to get used to, because it's a mistake that you can make. But uh, overall, man, that was, that was pretty quick, you know? Simple, and these are all the way maxed out. You can see the orange follow in there, 100% maxed out. So it works really well on filling your mags all the way up. And uh, you do have to get some, give some credit to these magazines though, because they are pretty nice. You can fill them all the way up and they won't break like some mags will. I picked this thing up for I think $30. And I think I bought it from Evike. We're not sponsored by them. I just went ahead and bought it because I, I thought it was interesting. And uh, I wanted to try a new speed loader. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is when you take the speed loader out of the box, it's gonna be separated from the thing itself. So you gotta put it in starting at the front of the track here, this front piece right here. So the angle part, put the low side on the back. You gotta stick it in all the way like this, make sure it's flush. And then you gotta push it back till it snaps in. Uh, that's how the adapter works. So we'll come separated like that. So yeah, overall, I really like this thing, uh, 30 bucks. It does seem a little bit steep just for a speed loader. But this thing is pretty damn badass, I will say. And this will definitely be coming with us on all of our major events because it just works that well for us. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. We appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you to all our patrons and uh, all of our subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting us. Go out and get them.